My name is Adebo Ali on Afuera. I'm your uh, is teacher or call okay, your trainer in hydroponics today. I'm going to say some few things about hydroponics. Here you can see some of the little experiments we have done on hydroponics and um, we have made some fantastic discovery here in Nigeria, especially as regards hydroponics. So in, in short, I'll be showing you some few things about hydroponics. How you can make good money from hydroponics. How you can save a huge amount on the cost of feeding your pigs, your dairy, your chicken, your livestock generally, goats, rabbits, and so on and so forth. Go on with me as we continue. So this is day one, 24 hours after sprouting. You can see we just sprouted in a simple tray. We started giving the aquaponics ingredients to this. Started sprout, sprouting the sorghum too. This is the maize. That's something very simple. This is the aquaponics ingredients that we give. We spray it from time to time. Okay, so this is day two. Now let me say full day one, going to the second day. Let's continue to watch all will happen. This is now day four. We're going to go into the fifth day. You can now see that the maize have grown very well. This is pure aquaponics at work. They have weighed several times more than what we put in there at the inception. At the inception of this work. So this is sheer miracle. We are growing forest without soil. Just putting the aquaponics ingredients. And we are seeing this wonderful work. So we continue to see how we to look on the six, the seven, the eight, and the nine. When you are ready for harvesting. Five. And the aquaponics seed, and this is the maize. You can see how well it has grown within five days. It's now very heavy, less than one kg maize. It's now in over four kg now. And this is the aquaponics ingredients, the nutrients that we spray on it. These are just the newly sprouted seed, the sorghum seed. I just got sprouted. They are already growing fast. I just a big hold and you can imagine how well they are doing. Yeah. This is the maize. This is the maize. We started maize and millets. Was getting started. So you can see that with aquaponics, even your house, you can grow food for your animals. And that's the new stuff you are going into. This is our pH testing kit. You know, pH is very important for aquaponic nutrient, especially for plant nutrient. The pH must be between 4.5 and there about and 5 if you want to get a very good result from your animals. And you can see the color for 4.5 and 5.0. The pH must not be 7 or thereabout if you are going to get a good result from your test. So, 
We are going to test the water we have in here and you are going to see per adventure if the pH of your water is too high how you can lower it with a pH lowering kit or uh, ingredient that we have and before we go on to pour the aquaponic nutrients. What I am going to do is I want to show us how to test this is the water we want to use to prepare the ingredient. But before you use your water you must test for the pH because if the pH is too high it can be used. Now you can see the mark. I have the water here. So I have the water here. You can see this. So I'm going to put this liquid just three drops inside this water. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to close it and shake it. Come closer. Can you see the color? You can see the color. Now, if we check this color against this chart, you can see that it falls, I think, between 6.5 and 7. It means the pH of this water is neutral, which will not work well for this reason. So we need to reduce the pH to around 5.5 to 4.5. And to do that, all we need to do is to use a pH reducing agent, which I have here prepared. I just need to press it, put it in the water, like that. Put it in the water. I'm going to take some. Let me shake it. I'm going to take some fresh water now. So we dip it. See that? It's on the line. So I will not put the pH test, 33 drops. One, two, three. I'll shake it. Now you can see the color of the water. What does it take? You see that it's now on the 4.5 mark, which is good for us to go. So we can now put the aquaponics in ingredient inside this water now and continue with our work. Thank you. Now that we have our water in the correct proportion, the pH is okay. I've mixed my hydroponic nutrient inside here. I only need four mils to put in two liters of water. This sprayer, you can see, is two liters. I need four mils of this ingredient, which I specially prepared for a formulation to put in here. And once that is done, what you need to do is to put the color, you color it up, you shake the gloss in. And then, see this? After you must have shaken well, now pump it. When you've done that, you are good to go. So you spray. With this, you are feeding the plant with the right nutrient. What does soil do? Soil is a home for nutrients. The soil stores the nutrients naturally for plants. For plant struggles to pick up this nutrient. So what we do with hydroponics is to directly, I say this, is to directly give this nutrient to the plant. You can see the beautiful roots. And with this nutrient, this particular plant, let me call it this fodder, has 20% protein in it. It's very rich for animals. You can feed it 100%. To poultry, you can give it hundred percent to your pigs. You just eat, add some little dry matter, and you save a lot of cost. You can see, as the root, very fresh. Everything can be eaten by the animals. Show them. You know, so 
This we used it for a special experiment on trying on different nutrients and all that. So back to where we stopped yesterday. We are continuing with showing what we are doing in our aquaponics. Now this is just a makeshift system. Showing somebody in the middle of your house. Somewhere. This is just a free space. Have a rack where you can use. With your sprayer, where we put the ingredients for uh, the whole thing. The ingredients is poured in here, whereby we mix it up. You know, I told you about the pH of the water. And it must be 4.5 to 5 and all that. Once you put that in there, you know, the pump. This time, all you just do is you spray. And once you have sprayed, they, they are good to go. So you don't need anything special to have an agricultural plant. And the good part about having it in the middle of your house or in between your house is the smell. Good aroma. I feel you guys can smell what I'm passing in here. And remember, the plants give up oxygen. They breathe out oxygen. So it helps your house to stay well oxygenated. So as I was saying, the oxygen that these plants are giving up help your house to stay well oxygenated. You know, the house has so much oxygen. You breathe better in your house, your children, everyone. Everybody can get this. But the burden of it is hydroponics helps you to reduce the cost of feeding your animals. With folders, you can save up to 50% on your feed, rabbits, chicken, dairies feed, and all that. And also with this system, you can grow vegetables for personal consumption at home and for people around, and make good money from agribusiness. Thank you once again. I'm Adebo Ayo Nafuara. Cheers.